Okay, so please forgive me for the sound of birds singing and everything. Um, it's a beautiful sunny day today, so I've got the doors open so that the dogs can go in and out, but I am interrupting the fast forward uh, part of this video uh, to quickly show you the pages that I've done so far. Um, so I've got my July little cover page that I do every month, my monthly calendar, this month is a little bit, apart from going to Disneyland obviously, this month is a little bit quieter than previously. Um, a brain dump page, a dissertation to do list page, and then we go into the first week of July. Um, I really don't have many plans next week, so I did a really simple um, little like grid almost design for my week and then I've got this big note section down the bottom so that if things do get busy I can just add stuff in down there. Um, to be honest this did turn out a little bit smaller than I wanted it to but I'm sure I'll make it work somehow. Um, and then my camera actually died but I was just setting up my Disneyland Paris plans section. Um, because I have enough room to fit July in here it seemed sensible to pop it at the end of my July calendar section in this notebook however this is the last video you will see with this notebook because I have a new one um, I don't have enough space for another month in here so as of August I will be moving into this yellow notebook and I just wanted to show you what I've done so far in here um, I meant to film a video on it but then um, unfortunately the day that I was setting this up was a day that I just didn't feel like filming at all um, so I'm just showing you it now but this is another Leuchtturm notebook like my other one it is in the lemon yellow and I've got the matching pen loop as well because I always have a pen loop um, when you open it you've got the contents page as normal as you can see I've already set up quite a few things in here so I've skipped that first page I've got my future log all ready to go for September to December. I haven't filled anything in yet, but I definitely do need to do that. I've got some birthdays and things being planned already. Um, then I've got a new Books of 2019 page. I wasn't massively happy with the one that I had set up um, in here at the beginning of the year. So I'm going to add all the books I've read so far. Um, not that there have been many because I've mainly been doing reading for university, but oh well. Then I've got a film and TV series um, section, page. I found this on Pinterest. Um, some of them I have already watched seasons of, so I need to go in and highlight them to show that I've watched them. But basically you write the name of the film or TV franchise down the side and then you fill in how many films or seasons there are. And when you've watched them, you just highlight them off. Um, so I've got in here Pretty Little Liars, I've watched the whole thing, How I Met Your Mother, I've watched all that, Friends, I've watched all of that, Game of Thrones, I've watched all of that, same for Orange is the New Black and Glee, um, and then some of them like Salem, I've watched season one, Once Upon a Time I'm actually up to season six, um, Bates Motel I'm up to season three, and American Horror Story it's only season nine that I haven't watched so far, so I need to go in and cross them off, but I just thought it was a fun idea um, to keep track of series that you finish throughout the year whether that be a film series or a tv series so i could put toy story on here as well actually shall i do it now toy story because toy story 4 came out last week and i've officially watched all four of them so i can get my little highlighter and highlight it off there you go. <laughs> the next page is a saving log because I am saving for lots of different things. Um, the job that I do, I love it, but I really don't earn very much money. So I do have to save hard for the things that I want. Um, so I find a saving log useful. Um, and I've just got this one, which is like a jar. So every time I hit a goal, I will write the amount in and um, color it in or shade it in or something but I haven't filled in any of that yet and then I've got another page here so if I fill that one up by some miracle I can do another one or if I have to take money out of my savings for whatever reason I can log here what that money was used for then I've got two that are kind of linked. So I've got a wish list page. Whenever I want to buy something, I write it on a wish list with the cost next to it. I very rarely just go ahead and buy stuff on a whim. I know it might seem like it sometimes, but that's quite rare. 
Um, so if I write a wish list with the cost next to it, at the end of the month or whenever I look at it, I can be like, look how much money I saved by not buying those things. So I enjoy a wish list page. And also it means that when people then ask me what I want for my birthday or for Christmas, I can just look at this and get some ideas. Um, and then I've got Christmas gift ideas, which isn't for me, it's for my friends and family. I want to start buying my Christmas gifts about five or six months in advance this year, so I need to start like now. Um, so I want to write some ideas for people. I have a double page spread for YouTube ideas, which is pretty self-explanatory. And then I have a double page spread for 2019 to-dos and projects. So these are things that I want to complete by the end of the year, um, including big projects like painting the garden shed, um, you know, stuff like that. So things of that nature will be on here. And then we go into my Disney World pages. Now, I did all of this before I found this beautiful notebook in TK Maxx. So this is a dot grid glittery rose gold A5 hardbound notebook similar to the Leuchtturms but it is beautiful. It's even like got a coating on so none of the glitter comes off and it feels really smooth. Um, and I kind of want this to be my travel journal now so I can plan all of my holidays in here and save some space in my actual bullet journals. Um, but I had already put these pages together so what I might do is kind of transfer some of this information into here and have this as a, a travel planner as well. Um, but for now it's, it's going to be in here. Um, so I've got my Disney World trip coming up next February. We're only going for a week um, but I want to try and pack in as much as possible or at least make the most of the time we're there. So I've got a sort of like catch all page where I'll just have all the important information like the dates, the hotel info, the flight info. Um, then I've got a page for a packing list which probably should have been two pages but it's fine. A bucket list page, so here I want to put all of the things that I really want to do. Um, so watch Happily Ever After, ride Flight of Passage, take a photo with the tangled lanterns, that sort of thing. Um, and then I've got a wish list page, which is stuff that I would like to buy. So if there are specific things that I see in pictures on Instagram or other people's haul videos that I really want to keep an eye out for, I'll pop them on this page. Then I've got an ideal trip provisional itinerary. So basically, when you're staying in a Disney hotel, you can book your fast passes for rides 60 days in advance. And I don't want to go into that day with not a clue of what we want to do. So what I'm planning on doing is in probably at the end of August, looking at the um, opening times for each park, which should be released by then, planning out where we might want to be on each day and writing a little provisional itinerary. So on this day, we want to go to Magic Kingdom and we want to ride this ride, that sort of thing, and plan out what fast passes we might want. So that's that will be like our ideal trip. Then <laughs> the next page is the final itinerary after fast pass day. So after fast pass day, which isn't until December, but I'll still be in this notebook in December. Um, after fast pass day, I will have a clear idea of where we will be and what we will be doing on each day. And I'm going to log it on this page. Then I left a few blank pages and then this is where August is going to start. So that is what I've done so far in this new bullet journal. Um, but like I say, I kind of want to set this up as a travel journal now, um, but we'll see. And then randomly at that moment, my video stopped recording. I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you have any questions, let me know, and I will see you next time. Bye.